Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Today Phoebe and I are showing you how to make some classic British pancakes with a little twist. Got some fruity chocolate ones. It's all good, right? Yeah. Try them. Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill. Get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hello. Uh, yeah, so today we're making... Pancakes! Yeah, because soon it's... Pancake day. day! Yeah, it is pancake day. We've got some big pans, we've got some little pans. Phoebe's going to be a tosser. Are you going to be a tosser? Yes! Yes, and if you're in the UK, that's quite a funny pun if you're an adult, right? Um, anyhow, we're going to make a batter first of all, and then we're just going to do make some simple ones, right? Barn? Yes! Yeah, let's go. Right, Phoebe's rolling her sleeves up. Do they look ready, Phoebe? Yeah! Yeah? I'm ready. Are you ready, Phoebe? Yeah. Right, so click the fingers, let everyone, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, write all those ingredients down, hit pause please guys. Uh, right, okay, sieve, flour, into a bowl. This is a huge bowl. Ah, right, no. tap it, fit. get it nice and high. She's sieving away like a gangster. Right, so she sieved that in there, it's looking good. Have the sieve back because this is a little bit of salt. Hold I that sieve up. Do that. You can do that, girl power. She's like a trainee spice girl, girl power. Right, that thing right there in Phoebe's hand is called an egg. And where do eggs come from? Um, chickens. Chickens bums? Yeah, yeah chickens bums. Um, okay, so we're going to crack the eggs. We've got two eggs, get them into that batter mixture. Two eggs. Okay, so Phoebe has already cracked one egg and put it on the table like that. She's just cracking it on the side of something hard and then she's going to pour the eggs. Oh yeah. She still gets a little bit of shell in there, but it's all good for texture, right? All right, I've just had a little shell inspection of that and there's none in there. Are you happy with your progress? Yes. Right, we'll pour those eggs in there, mate, in your big flowery bowl. Go in there, like that, straight now in we there. Mix it. Yes, we do. Let's grab a spatula, mix it all in. I love spatulas. I don't know why I love spatulas. I just find them good because they sort of get everything off the side. Uh, so she's going to do her best, and then I'll try and work some more in there with her. Oh, yeah. You enjoying that, mate? Yes. Can I have a noise that shows that you're enjoying it? Yes. Go on then. Um, this is really fun. <laughs> this is really fun. Uh, Okay, Phoebe's holding this bowl up to you. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like thick and stodgy at the moment. So we need to. And make... it's orange. And it's orange. That is an important fact for you right there. Uh, let's pour in our milk. We're going to do like about a third of it at a time. So if I were to pour that in with you, ready? Like that. And then mix it through together. So go on, mate, mix it away. Let it all merge together. And moisten up, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of milk left over. This mixture is all nice and smooth. Now, all of that... Oh, you can see my tripod. Look. Some... Like, like resting post. Um, yeah, we've added that in there. I want to lick the spoon. You want to lick it? How does that taste? You see there's a few lumps on the spatula, but if you look down within it, it's all nice and smooth now. Uh, so I'm going to get a pan nice and hot, keep her well away from that, and we can start to make the pancakes. Your tosser. Okay, so this is the super, super dangerous bit because this pan is getting nice and hot. I've got some oil on there. It's, it actually looks very slicky, but it's not. It's just that shine from it. Try and use as little oil as you can, or even some butter. Uh, so I've just got it on there, wiped it around with the kitchen towel, getting it nice and hot. Now, Phoebe has got a mini version of that pan. Are you practicing your tossing? Yeah. So I've given her a demister pad from your windscreen on a car. Kind of crazy, I know. And I'm getting her to try and practice flipping. Yeah. Is that going all right? Right, um, so once this pan's nice and hot, I'm going to spoon a little bit of batter in there, make her a little one. I've done it! You did, but in a minute you're going to have a real pancake. Uh, yeah, you get the idea, we're just going to make the pancakes. Right, here we go then. I'm just going to spoon on some batter, probably about two ladle spoons full for a big pancake. So get it on there, and then pick your pan up, squirt it all around to the edges like this, while it's all nice and loose. It should take about 90 seconds, I reckon, maybe even less than that, depending on how hot your pan is, and then we toss it. So what you'll find is the edges will start to cook first, you can sort of just hack away at them and push them in, but the middle will take a longer to set. So you can use like one of those palette knives, I'm using a fish slice so you can actually get a bit easier under there. It won't cut into the pancake and you can have a look when it's browning underneath. When you start to see it browning and it loosens up, then we toss. Okay, so that's been 90 seconds, look how easy that is moving about in the pan. And I actually did that for the first time ever on a video about a year, maybe two years ago. So anyone can do it, have a go, right? It's just about confidence. Beeps, give me a countdown. One. Go! Okay, here we go. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I went... Uh, I sort of made that face when I changed gear in my car. There we go, nice and brown that side. Pop it back down on like your, your top bit there. For about 30 seconds just to brown it. And then we get the decorating bit. So uh, let's give Phoebe a go at tossing. 
Hey, Phoebes, you ready? Yes. Got a nice cold pan there, nice little pancake. Breathe, free. <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> you sort of did it. Oh my gosh, give me five. Actually, get the pancake in there first. All right, give me five now. Did you see that? That is amazing skills, mate. Um, yeah, just to let you know, if you're not, if you have fear of tossing, um, what you can do is when, just imagine the pancake's there and you're about to toss and it's nice and loose, you can just literally flip it onto a plate like that and then just get the plate and go brum, straight back in there. Right, mate? Yeah. Do you want to try again? Yeah. Go on in. Uh, okay. All right. A little bit, a little bit overconfident there, but anyhow, make as many pancakes as you like. Can I say it now? Actually, I don't want to go again. Right, so once your pancake batches are done, that made about six in total for those quants, so uh, quite a lot to go with. Uh, how are you doing, mate? Fine. What are you making right there? Um, I'm making a... Like a pizza face? Mm. Kind of. She's just topping it up. She's got a nice cream base there. We just whipped up some double cream, and she's just plonking all those berries on there. Really super cool. Obviously, the most traditional one is the lemon juice with the uh, raisins and the sugar, but we wanted to mix it up a little bit. And you can too. Make savoury ones. Um, here, I've got one that's exactly the same as what Phoebe's doing. I'm going to put some chocolate chips on that. In fact, I'll show you any minute now, and this one's going to be a cigar. So let me show you how I'm doing those two, and then we'll get a little bit of a taste test going on. All right, so with my cigar one, you see I've gone for a mango, pineapple, mango, pineapple, mango, pineapple combo. A little bit in. I'm just going to grab like the end of it there. So I've gone about a quarter or so in. Just roll it forward, kind of like a big cigar. And I'm going to give that one to Chloe. I think she's going to love that one. Yeah, so for my very naughty profiterole one, it's just very simply chocolate and cream like that. And we'll lift it, fold it in half like this. And then we'll take it from one side and fold it like into a triangle shape like this. Oh, can you see that cream sticking out the edge? And then what we'll do is, <laughs> Phoebe's right down by my legs and tickling me. Stop it. <laughs> uh, oi. And then we just get some chocolate sauce and just drizzle it on the top like that. Oh my gosh. Right here then folks, so once you're all ready and done and dusted, I got the short straw, I got the fruit one. Phoebe's tucking into the chocolate one. Look at that. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And Chloe here is wrecking the pineapple and mango one. Ow. Is that good? Is that nice? She will eat absolutely anything. She's crazy. If I put on the Gangnam Style song, she just like freaks out and stuff. So that's it. Oh, you letting her have some chocolate? Be careful with that fork. I don't want you like stabbing her. Okay, anyhow, this is just natural family stuff going on. If I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and we'll see you again next time. Bye. Say goodbye. Oh, look at you with your chocolate lipstick. All right. <laughs> see you later. Hi, it's Mrs. Barry here. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share. Over on the right is Barry's last video where we made apple croquettes, which I think they tasted nice, but they'd all gone by the time I got back from work. Anyway, see you next time.